All right, yeah, I just did a hard clue scroll. I had to go all over RuneScape for this. Let's see what I got. Uh, oh. Right. Ka-ching, ka-ching. I do love the sound of a good old cash register, don't you? You don't get that so much these days with self-checkout, though. Oh well. Today I'm feeling a White Knight theme is rather appropriate, as I believe this week the rework for the Black Knight's Fortress quest is coming. Anyway, I have a bunch of stuff in my inventory that I've gathered over the past week, but before we get into that, let me just show you a few clips that I've recorded on my money-making ventures over the past week. One of the methods I tried during the week was making double astral runes, which requires 82 rune crafting. They're currently at a decent price and still sort of on the rise, probably thanks to the lack of bots. So if you're bored of the rune span and want to train rune crafting and also want to make some money, then this is once again a very good way to go. I'm honestly very pleased that rune prices are starting to pick up again. It warms my heart so much as I just released a video yesterday talking about there being too much dead content and runecrafting altars were previously dead content. So it's great to see them have their place in the game once again as a decent money maker. If it was up to me I would honestly remove or at least reduce a lot of the rune drops that come from monsters as I believe that is in large part one of the biggest reasons why rune prices are so low is because there's such a massive supply of them coming from monster drops. That and the EOC completely changing magic rune costs for combat didn't really help. So I believe removing a lot of rune drops from monsters would create a need for people to actually make runes again. To that people might argue that it would make some monsters less worthwhile to kill. And to that I'd say monsters can drop almost anything, altars can't. Alright, so this is the number of astral runes that I've produced, including the Wicked Hood, just bear this in mind. Uh, in just over half, well maybe about 40 minutes worth of astral rune making and as you can see it's, well the price checker says it's worth 1.2 mil almost and that is pretty good I have to say so thank you to whoever suggested that I've forgotten your name I'm sorry but I'll, I'll probably post a screen cap of the comments that was left so yeah here we are this person suggested I do astral rune running and it turns out it's actually quite good now, so I I estimate this to be about a mil an hour considering the cost of the essence. So rune crafting is once again somewhat profitable. I believe they're going for about two seventy five at the time that I'm recording this. Uh, no, maybe not. Okay, let's try this again. We'll come back once they've sold. Alright, a few minutes later, everything has sold. Let's see how much we got. And bang on mid price. That's not too bad. How much are we on now? 31.4 mil. Not bad. I also did about two hours of Grenwall hunting in total, which was very lucrative indeed. But I've mostly been at the QBD trying to figure out the best way of killing her still. I've come to the conclusion that range just generally sucks and mage is the best way to go if you don't have Drygors, Torver and all that very expensive melee gear. Which is strange since I was using a royal crossbow with range which is supposed to be particularly effective against the QBD because of the law, but I tend to find that when I'm using a mage setup with a chaotic staff I just seem to be able to do damage more consistently so there's a pro tip for you if you're looking at doing the QBD. I still suck at it and I died a few times, but in those instances I blame the movement system, which is a different topic entirely. Okay, back to present day, and as you can see in my money pouch, I currently have 32.7 mil, which is bit, uh, from odds and ends that I've sold from various Slayer tasks and other random things like that that I didn't particularly record. And now it's time for the big reveal. How much has Tom made in loot this week? It's 
just one click away. Let's find out. 9.2... Oh, wait, no, hang on. Let me, uh... <laughs> fail. Let's try that again. Okay, 9.2 mil carried wealth. That's not bad, I have to say. And... Some of you might have spotted the little chest here. Hmm. That's not the chest I used in the intro. That was a completely different chest. This is a new clue scroll chest that I've got recently. Let's open it now. See what we've got. Oh. 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 Right. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> um, so let's see what that brings our new total to. 9.3 mil-ish. So, and let's get selling this stuff and see what our new cash total is altogether. Okay, our royal site is having a bit of trouble selling, so I'm just going to have to leave that for a while. Let's just add 200k on top of whatever we've got. So as you can see, 41 mil. Ooh, that's quite good. Let's examine. 41.7 mil. That's honestly the most money I've had in ages. <laughs> oh, look at that. The royal site has just sold for 10% under mid price. Not too bad, I guess. 41.9 mil overall. That's pretty good. Anyway, if you have any money making methods you would like me to check out that I haven't covered yet, then leave it in the comments below and I'll be sure to check it out, tell you what it's like, whether it's worth doing or not. Uh, like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more Rags to Riches in the future, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care.